If you are a 3D artist and if you want decent cloth simulation, I think you are in the right place because we're gonna compare Epic Unreal Engine cloth simulation with Bellum Houdini cloth simulation. And we're gonna see the pro and cons and do not miss that, it will save you a lot of time. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. It's absolutely my pleasure to be here. Okay, let's begin. We're gonna see which one will win simplicity, the simple setup, quality, and speed, the real-time feedback. You see, we're gonna see and let's break these two down. Clough in Unreal Engine and Clough in Houdini. So, as you can see, we have this character and this bunch of geometry cache. Uh, of course in this tutorial we explain that and as you can see we have this body and we're gonna first export our skeleton meta human because i want cloth to meta human i want to apply that i don't want uh, a random plane and turn that to the cloth we need a real use case to that okay as you can see uh, we're gonna export this uh, meta human skeleton and, uh, and in Houdini we're gonna import that you see we have our skeleton the body skeleton not the face skeleton as you can see I prepared this mesh this piece of cloth as you can see we have a view to that and based on my experience it's need quad a quad topology and you can you, you need ha you need to have reasonable polygon number do not exaggerate that because unreal engine will will explode so with that uh, i want to bind these two together this piece of cloth to our skeleton i want to use mocha x if you're not familiar with that watch this tutorial please so we're gonna bind uh, this cloth using the bind and bind output to this skeleton and just with one click voila it's working you can use cinema 4d blender to use uh, to blind these two the skeleton and the cloth and as you can see we have this bone capture attribute now we can export that but uh, first let me show you i want to prove to you it's binding just uh, you need to validate that so i want to use bone deform and rig pose and as you can see if i change the skeleton position our cloth will change now it's a time to rope our fbx character let me create one and as you can see first it's the geometry capture pose the second one it will go with that and the third one it's the animation of course it will go with this no so we're gonna use this current frame and export stay tuned we're gonna see real-time cloth in unreal engine wow that's amazing so from now on i will rate the simplicity or simple to set up in unreal engine so as you can see we are gonna import our fbx character import sorry fbx file and we're gonna bind that with this meta human skeleton and voila we have our cloth to validate that i want to drag that in my scene and of course i want to place it in right place and i want to drag that in my sequencer and i want I want to apply the same animation that is applied to MetaHuman and boom, you see, that's awesome. It's bind and it's match the animation with the MetaHuman. So I want to delete that and let's begin. If you want cloth simulation, you need to enable the, uh, enable the cloth simulation in plugin window and just search cloth and enable all this and restart. So after that, let's create a cloth asset you see in uh, in content browser just right click and physics and cloth asset now we have cloth uh, data flow in here and as you can see all this scary setup it's simple honestly but in here we need usd import 
this setup it's optimized for marvel designer but we don't have any usd import we're gonna use skeleton mesh import because our mesh is skeleton let's select our skeleton out in here and let's connect it to collection this warning it's because lod let me uh, delete that let's connect that to all this lod and you see our mesh it's resting up there and as you can see we have all that and we don't have any animation let me change this uh, skeleton asset in here and this animation retargeted and as you can see we have the animation and we have all the binding but we don't have any cloth simulation that's because we need to paint this uh, weight map max distance so let's make it white white mean cloth simulation and black means uh, static or holding the point for example let's hold on shift and let's paint it as a black and boom we have cloth simulation you see bro that's so fast you see this is real time guys okay now let's save that and we're gonna back uh, to these uh, options in here but uh, right now we're gonna apply that to metahuman let's go to the blueprint and let's go in viewport and let's select body component and we're gonna add cloth component cool and now we're gonna select our cloth component easy you see that's amazing so we're gonna add that and we're gonna compile our uh, meta human blueprint and boom it's apply out of the box but we don't have any simulation we need to simulate we need to hit the simulate button and we're gonna we're gonna play our sequencer this is the downside of cloth simulation in rl engine right now it's not going to play in sequencer you need to hit this simulate button and you see that's amazing if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content i will be so grateful for that later on we're gonna see houdini in action with this amazing cloth simulation now let's set up collision you see we have intersection with our character and as you can see this is the uh, collision self collision section you can enable this asset but in this physic uh, asset we gonna select our meta human and with that it will collide with your meta human uh, character because meta human has physic asset all these ragdoll all these uh, uh, convex physics and you see it's colliding that's amazing this is with the collision and of course you can have this thickness and this a parameter of course you can manipulate that and see the result and let's enable self collision for more quality of course you see we have this simulation okay this is uh, thickness i'm talking about here and if you uh, adjust that you see it will make it weird so be careful with that you see it's so thick so this is the collision so this is the simplicity and the setup to be honest i will give it six from ten so this is the simplicity of setup it's not simple enough but yeah it's decent so let's go to the quality we can increase the quality in this node as you can see max iteration and of course it will have more cpu or gpu involved and it will make the cloth more stiff i don't know why i found this self collision sphere stiffness it's so important and this sphere radius if you increase that it will make your simulation in next level and it will uh, avoiding this intersecting honestly with cloth simulation in epic i have this uh, issue with intersection with the meta human and I tried many, many, many uh, parameter. Uh, this is fear and iteration and thickness. And I'm even, uh, I even uh, modify this physic meta human capsule. So we don't, I don't have any 
good result you see this intersection is so annoying so if you have any idea guys leave me in the comment section so this is the quality in my opinion so for the sake of the quality i will give i will give a club simulation 7 from 10 and speed bro it's 10 of 10 it's real time that's magic honestly i hope houdini go with the, this real time solution now let's go to vellum cloth simulation now as you can see we have this character we're gonna use that as a collision as we did with the unreal engine you see i cached that and i have this geometry this piece of cloth and i create this group to hold uh, the simulation and i use this vellum cloth and i have this awesome pin to animation group and match to the animation just like that and i increase the sub step you see setup it's so simpler than um sorry simpler than epic unreal engine you see and i catch that and this is the result you see bro and the quality it's so realistic so for the sake of simplicity you saw that it's nine from ten speed it's so slow it's three of ten i will give that three of ten the quality ten of ten because it's make more time and a more precise calculation with this cloth so i brought that in this uh, scene and as you can see this is the result and it's doing better than epic cloth simulation but yeah this is me honestly so i need more education for this cloth in uh, epic unreal engine maybe but yeah for now i will go with uh, vellum cloth simulation and this is the result guys you see that's amazing and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys and there is a many many asset on my patreon check that out okay with that goodbye